Hey, what's happening, guys? If you thought our list of tech under one thousand rupees was dope, you're in for a surprise. Today, we're going to be doing the top ten things you can buy for under five hundred rupees, and you'll be shocked at our collection. Let's get started. Now, just like our previous video, all the links to all the things that we show in this video will be in the description below. So, if you're interested in buying anything, just go and hit that link, and you'll be able to buy them. The first thing on our list are these Sony headphones. Look at them; they do not look like they're under 500 rupees, but that's exactly what their price is. They look extremely premium, although they feel completely plasticky because they are completely plasticky. But the build quality is not bad at all. They're extremely lightweight. and the headband is really flexible it'll fit your head very easily and you can also extend the height of the headband or make it longer so that it can fit bigger heads as well now the foam padding is not that great but it is extremely soft and the headphone feels really comfortable on the ear you can even use it for a workout or a light workout it's not going to fall off anytime soon now coming to the sound the sound is pretty fantastic for the price that these headphones are available at and you get really good quality lows as well as mids it's also extremely loud Actually, quite surprised that these are available for under 500 rupees. The 3.5 mm headphone jack is gold-plated and angled, and I don't know if these headphones are going to last online for a very long time. So you should hit that button and buy them because they're extremely budget-friendly and extremely good headphones for the price. Did I mention they fold out so that you can carry them easily? I probably did not, but they do. Now, for within our price bracket, this really ergonomical and good-looking mouse from Logitech comes with a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. and you get up to a 10 meter usage range which is pretty good for a wireless mouse the receiver is kind of compact and you can lose it quite easily but there is a nice pocket to tuck in the receiver on your mouse just remove the back door and put in the receiver so that you don't lose it anywhere the mouse has a really nice grip on the sides as well as the whole finish on the mouse is a matte black soft to touch rubberized finish and it feels really nice in the hand You have a very accurate tracking with a 1000 dpi sensor so you get precise movements is pretty good for the price that it's available at. At number 3 on our list coming all the way from the 1000 rupee tech video this one is the 16 gigabyte variant of the SanDisk dual drive. Now you get a micro USB jack on one side whereas a type A jack on the other side and you can simply connect this to your smartphone or your laptop. You get USB 3 speeds It's compact, easy to carry and looks fantastic as well. It's really well built. You also have a notch to add it to a keychain and it helps you take all your media on the go. So extremely useful for the price. Next up is the car USB charger from Blaupunk. You get two USB ports offering 2.4 amps in each socket, but it also doubles up as a safety device. You get a hammer to break your car glass if you get stuck and there's also a belt cutter. So it's a good thing to have in your car. Not only will you charge up your devices fairly quickly with the 2.4 amps, but it'll also serve up a safety purpose in case you need it. Hopefully, you never do. For well within our budget, this Eureka Fobs Aqua Guard personal purifier bottle is highly recommended. If you do a lot of traveling, if you're out of your house or your office quite a lot, this bottle, which comes for under 500 rupees, has a built-in membrane filter, and uh, this will purify your water wherever you are. So just dump water into the bottle. screw on the cap with the filter attached and you get instant filterized water it's no reverse osmosis filter does claim to remove 99% of the bacteria and virus which is mostly what harms us when we drink water it's bpa free so you're not getting any of those toxins as well when the cartridge is done it will stop filtering the water and it will automatically shut off so it won't give you any water so if the water stops coming that means that your cartridge is done and you need to buy either a new cartridge or a new bottle Next up is the Dragon War Emera gaming mouse in the red color. Now some of you saw this in our previous video. This has a 3200 DPI sensor and you can also set the DPI setting. So if you don't want it to have such a precise setting, you can range it from anywhere between 800 to 3200. It has a total of 8 programmable keys and LED light. You can turn it off if you don't want it. And it does work with USB 2, so you don't need to have a USB 3 port to have it going. It's fairly ergonomical. It feels really nice in the hand, and it's also rubber coated, so you get a lot of grip. The cable is braided, so it's not going to snap or break easily. And the USB connector is gold plated. The cable length is 1.8 meters. Pretty budget friendly gaming mouse, and it works really well. Now, if you like listening to music as much as we do, and you'd like to take your music in your shower as well, this waterproof speaker is pretty fantastic. 
Just like our previous cheapo Bluetooth speaker, this is available from a bunch of brands and you get Bluetooth 3.0. You get a whole lot of buttons on the device itself. So you get a power button, forward, reverse, play pause, and you can answer and end calls with this. It also has a microphone inbuilt, so you can connect it with your smartphones and while in your shower, if you want, you can speak to your friends. You have a suction cup, which is fairly solid as long as you put it on a smooth surface like glass that we've done here. It's not going to fall off anytime soon. You can listen to music while showering. Since the speaker is backward firing, it will not get affected and the sound does not get affected with the water hitting on it. You get up to 10 meters in terms of transmission range and it's fairly compact. It charges fairly quickly and it gives you six hours of playback time. Overall, pretty good for the price. Next up, we're looking at this water resistant case for smartphones up to 5.9 inches. Now this is made out of an ABS plus waterproof fabric and it does have a zipper so you can insert your smartphone. We tried a phone up to six inches, no problem whatsoever. It fits in the device and it will prevent your device from getting dust as well as water in terms of rain or splashes or anything that can affect your phone. Uh, so if you have a bike, this will come in really handy, but also the fact that you can mount it to any pole or any round cylindrical handle means that it will come in handy for uses beyond the bike as well. Now you can continue to use your phone screen uh, while the phone is in the case and the speaker does not get muffled up either. So if you want a splash proof and dust proof case for your phone, this bike mount case comes in handy. Next up, these multi tools that fit into your wallet. Now one of them is called a Wallet Ninja, it comes with 18 features while the other one which is slightly better built and comes with a stainless steel finish has lesser features. Now they are both credit card sized and you can do a whole lot of things with this. You have a screwdriver, a bottle opener, a can opener, a box cutter, a inch and centimeter ruler and you can also use it as a cell phone stand and a knife uh, for the stainless steel one. You can use it to cut fruit, etc. if it comes to that. So something really handy that you can have in your wallet. Apparently, they claim to have it TSA approved. That means you can carry it during a flight, although I would not recommend it because it does have a blade on it. So I wouldn't recommend it, but they claim to be TSA approved and they are 1.5 mm in terms of thickness. So they do add a little bit of bulk. They're bulkier than standard credit cards but these are really handy to have in your wallet. Now to close off this list, something that we have all around our office, these are the MX Cable Organizer Cable Management System. It's available from a 10 meter thickness all the way up to 45, 50 mm in terms of thickness. So if you have thick wires or thin wires, if you want to manage them, this is possibly the best solution that you have available and it all comes under 500 rupees. It comes with a nifty tool to install the cable management system. All you need to do is thread your cables through the tool and then the cable manager slides onto your cables without any problems. It's a fairly easy to use process and it comes in really handy and whatever length you need, you can cut the remaining off. It cleans up all those ugly wires on your table floor, etc. and all the wires go in this and it becomes one single giant cable of sorts. It looks really clean and it's one of the most recommended things that we have on this list. So that's it guys, that was our list of the best tech under 500 that we could find on the internet. Since you guys have liked it, we're going to be doing more of these lists, so stay tuned for those. If you have any recommendations for lists, Drew, drop them in the comment section below and we'll try and get them covered up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscription is absolutely free. Hit us up at igan.in and you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Snapchat, Instagram and no longer on Vine because eventually it's going to shut down, so we're off. We'll see you guys the next time. Thank you for watching.